You know what I'm going to do? I was going to wait a moment. You're looking at the cathedrals tonight, and you're seeing a new face for the and first terrible time. terrible old face. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. one head that looks like it's wore out three or four bodies right here. <laughs> but I want, you, I want to do something. I was going to wait a while and sing about five or six songs, and then I was going to introduce this young man to you. But let me, let me do it right now. I just feel impressed, too. Roger Bennett, our uh, former piano player. Roger, after his second child came along, Roger felt like he needed to spend more time with his family, and the Lord opened a door for Roger to do that, and we're so thankful to God that he did. And then the Lord opened a door for us with a young man. Uh, you know what? God makes no mistakes. We're happy for Roger because he wanted to, to be at home with his family, and God opened that door for him. And then the Lord also sent us a young man that we believe with all of our hearts that this young man is here tonight because God sent him our way. His name is Gerald Wolfe, and he's from Morristown, Tennessee. He's 23. You know what? Gerald's 23 years old. Let me think. I was thinking about it. Gerald's 23, Mark's 27, Danny's 32, and Glenn, all of their ages don't add up to yours. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to him in a minute. Well, over 80, Glenn. You know what I want to do? I want to do something. Gerald flew to Atlanta and uh, to uh, rehearse with us while we were at the Joyful Noise there. And after Gerald walked in, we heard him play and sing the first song. We did not look any further because we knew God had sent the young man to us. I want you to listen to this young man. Not only is he a fabulous piano player, but I want, I want you boys, you boys run over that song down to Joyful Noise, The Land of Living. And I want you to listen as Gerald Wolf and the boys sing Land of Living. It's a land of life. 
young man. I tell you what, how about Gerald Wolf? Would you welcome him to Detroit, Michigan tonight? Yes, sir. Yeah, I tell you what, son, I love that song. Yeah. Gerald, I tell you what, why don't you say a word to us, Gerald, and sing that? I tell you what, I'm, I'm about to, excuse me just a moment. Well, glory! <laughs> yeah, when you got one of them in you, you better let it out or it'll hurt you. Right, you better, I'll tell you. Say a word for us and sing that verse again. It's so nice to be here on my second week with the Cathedral Quartet. And this week I've been at home and I've been by myself. My wife's not in Stowe yet. And uh, it's been kind of lonely, and, and the George and Glenn have tried to keep me from getting lonely, and Mark's called me on the phone, and everybody's been trying to keep from getting lonely. And I kind of miss my wife, and sitting around the house there with nothing to do by myself. And I begin to think, and I put on a tape that we did last Sunday night at the Cathedral tomorrow, and we begin to listen to that tape and how the Lord blessed in that service. Yes. And I realized that I was not alone sitting in my apartment. But there was someone there with me yeah. who sticks closer than a brother. Amen. I've got two brothers at home, and they love me, and they do anything for me. But there's no one who can do for me what Jesus did for me so many years ago when I was eight years old when he saved my soul and made me fit to go to the land of living. I'm still not a good person by any means, but I know the Lord, and I've trusted him with all my heart and life. And he's able to keep that that I've committed to him against that day. You listen to the second verse. The sun is nothing but a legend in this paradise of dreams. The light will be the only light we'll need. I'm so glad it's soothing walls of jasper built by God's own hands. It's a See you. 